how I want to do that, but maybe I can catch him on shift. Into a fear. Got it. I can blanket him off that fear into a big go on warrior. I have a proc too. Scatter him before he leap disarms me on the charge. Fat cock damn. Down they go. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, Yo, I'm what's going on, guys? Like, so today we got a little Resser Druid Fury Warrior. We're playing MM Feral. I got to do much showing you guys how to ruin a warrior's day. So he comes in with a little leap bolt. We didn't get to scatter it, but it's fine. We feign cheat a wall. We live. We're chilling. So ideally what you want to do is you want to save your scatter for your bolts, the disengage for their charges, and your freedom for their leaps. And that is like the ideal way to trade a warrior. So here he charges me. I'm disarmed, so I couldn't really knock it, but we get a nice stun by my feral to cover me. So we're just running, we're vibing. He has a bolt soon, so we're just hovering. Scatter the bolt. Root him off, vibing, charge, knock this charge. I actually chose to feign camo here just to get some health back. I can trap off into an aim shot. Get a little trap from stealth off the bash clone. We get a maim. Our, our feral senses berserk go. Chilling. Aim shot from stealth here. So he leaves here. I don't have my pet out yet because I'm doing extra damage. So I disengage before this. Because I chose to face feign camo, I actually didn't have feign for like five seconds. So he found a nice little window to spear me. So we just trade the turtle. It's fine. We got a nice clone from my feral there to peel me, but I might as well just turtle for the spear dot too. I silence the uh, the druid here. I was expecting a stun on their warrior from my pharaoh here. He my pharaoh goes to maim the healer though instead for CC. He gets a little maim clone. I get disarmed on the aim shot. That would have chunked him a little bit more, yeah, but we'll it's cool. Fly. We're still just extending the go. Rally falls. I get a trap off. We'll trap. He has a bolt soon, so we're just hovering our scatter. We're watching him, watching his globals. He, we see his little arm throw, so we scatter. My pharaoh clones off. Shut down his bolt. His distance closer there. Pharaoh gets a little bash okay, maim so action here. Rejuve. We get the regen, send ward. Split pressure on the druid too with a little frenzy, so we force the uh, the druid's bark skin. Disengage his charge now. He spears me. We feign that. Yeah, completely shut down the wreck there. He turns my pharaoh. But then the druid stopped casting it. That true shot just randomly on this druid. It was kind of awkward, but I swear it was good. Proc my trick shots off the Kevin. Blanket sky. He has a bolt for me. I scatter. Oh. He stuns this and I double tap. Warrior trinkets that scattered into a stun. Double tap, arrow, rapid fire. We are playing Craven this game. We're playing Craven consecutive concussion. So our rapid fire is a little small, but we're just, we're kind of embracing the damp. I can maybe chuck one. I don't want to get too close. Pretty far for the trap. Try to time it. Oh, it's close. Nice. Missed timed it by like 0.1, but my feral gets a nice little cheeky hive. Right the warrior's just lying to me though, so we just focus aim shot the druid and cash for him. Nice little spread pressure is good for Druid. Makes him have to heal two targets. Make him be mana inefficient. Where Leap bolts me. We see it coming. We scatter it. Knock him too. We had to walk out of this. We couldn't disengage right away. Exil and disengage here on the charge. Spear. But I wouldn't even been there in the first place. One aim shot on this guy. Vibing, turning, warrior on the island. Gets a charge now. A wall. I cheated here. I had a disengage, but we opted for a wall cheetah because he didn't actually get a slow on me with that global. We have a little maim here. I silence the druid. Casting an aim off that. Big aim off the clone. I think my pharaoh was trying to swap to the clone to the druid, but the druid roared him. I have a knock here for the wreck. Scattered him into a feign camo. Call the pet out now. Just shut down the wreck. I'll call my pet out here. I'm gonna heal the fool. Healing to full and stealth, straight vibing. He turned my pharaoh, so the pharaoh had to maim him. Got a little too close here, and I whiffed the trap. I could have waited, been a little bit more patient, so now I don't have trap. He's just kind of cranking my my feral. I scattered a bit off script, so I, I couldn't scatter this bolt on my feral. But my feral trades the wall, bark skin thorns, because it's spear. It's a good trade. I swear I just fainted. So now we need to save our scatter for the next bolt. Didn't want to scatter the druid there as defense. If I didn't waste my trap, I could have trapped the druid's charge as defense. 
A true shot here, though. I'm trying to purge the thorns. True shot here to get some counter pressure. The purge didn't work on the thorns, of course. He's trying to sidestep me. I'm trying to like also sidestep him. A little 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 chess match between the warrior hunter here. Deny uptime, but also have uptime. That was on me. From the no, get I the scatter. Oh my god, that was on global. That was a tight one. Cause I actually used a concussor shot global oh, too. Thought the druid was gonna leap rake me, so I put the uh, trap on my feet Sounds and good. flared. He opened like weirdly next to me though. He probably thought about it. I probably just did it a little too fast. He's actually guardian though, so he, he had a leap bash maybe, not rake. Warrior got like a nice little dead zone on me there, cause like I'm trying to deny his leap peels towards me, but then he can also leap the other way, right? So there's like a little dead zone there where like I need to play max range, but I also need to like not have him range me. So, well, it's fine. When you play against a warrior, it's not even really about the big goal. It's more just about like denying the warriors up time and. Living. A, charge, fuck it. it's a little bit off script, little bit off -script scatter here, but he used the leap and a charge, so like it's two mobilities for one mobility in theory. Ball, but I'm just cranking. Still a net positive That's to scatter it. He gets a little maim. I could have trapped this. I, I didn't though. Maybe I just range it until I have scatter. I was really worried about this bolt right now because I didn't have scatter. So I was like thinking about maybe turtling it or just ranging it. I decided to just keep ranging until I get scatter back. Now I have scatter back, so I'm in his range. He's just kind of hitting my pet though. So we get a rake stun. I'm like trying to heal my pet and pull it back. Double tap silence healer. My feral gets a nice moonfire on the spell reflect for me. This guy blade storms. Some small dim. Regen, so he's like very alive. Scatter the yeah. bull here. Just been like watching it for the last 15 globals pretty much. Just like trying to make sure I can get the scatter on the bolt. It's like so huge. If you scatter every bolt and disengage every charge, you are so chilling into warriors. Charges me here, disengage, but he speared it. We feign, cheat yeah. out. Big chill. I can shot here. Trisha here for some counter pressure while he's behind the pillar from his healer. Keeping an eye on the healer if he wants to like charge me or something, but he's just doing healing globals. Dampening starting to kick in. It's 40% damp. Mm, I can't not this guy wrecks me. I should have just turtled right here because he actually offensive disarmed me, so I couldn't scatter, knock, or anything. The offensive disarm was a good play. So I ended up having to trinket turtle anyways. I could have turtled high though. Would have been even more high value. But it's cool. We live. Rex over now. I have a knock now. No disarm. That was his leap right there. So. Taunt the druid. Taunt the druid stealth there. He has no leaves, so I'm just cranking. Drop an arrow. He, this is the dead zone again. He blaze storms away from it. Didn't really get it. My my druid gets a nice bash clone on the healer, and then he actually walks through my arrow again. Sick vortex by my by my feral there on the charge bolt, and we just kill him through. Tolveron MM feral versus versus warrior. Concussion is most fun PVP. Always a fun matchup. Got a H pal fury warrior. I'm playing with a uh, just a boomkin from Viratus. Where it comes in with the leap, we opt for scatter because a lot of warriors just like leap bolt first globe. You don't really know if your warriors double charge or bolt right away, so better safe than sorry. So he's playing bolt, we just trinket it. He used the leap there too, so he has no mobility now. I silence pally. I wanted to go warrior, but warrior's too far, so we just send a little rapid fire on the pally. He's looking at me now, getting back to my distance. Charges me, we disengage, easy trade every time. He has no leap because he leaped in the opener. So we got a little bit of space to work with. I'm eyeing his next storm bolt. He throws it. Oh, I can trap here and then camo. Trying to get my health bar up. Fane camo here, trap the healer. But the boomkin uh, actually breaks my trap and there's a judgment midair. In what world? There's no bleed on my pet either. So my camo gets griefed a little bit. So he leaps to me now, we trade the pet freedom for the leap. Another easy trade. He gets freedom by the pally on my slow. He's trying to close the distance. We actually get the purge and then re slow him right as the blaze storm ends. So we have some space to work with. He has a bolt in like one. I was worried about the pally coming in though. I thought the pally was going to hodge me no trink and the warrior like was going to vee into him for free mobility. So we try to just turtle the hodge. I'm just eyeing the storm bolt. I double tap to like bait him to do it and then I get back in his range and scatter him for space. But I kind of sent the silence too early. Oh my god, I have the So no we damage. just send the damage. He gets bopped though, no cover. The clone comes in just like a second too late, but it's all good. We sent the purge, do the damage. We got we're getting buttons, we're getting what we need. We got bop, sack. 
and uh, and regen there. Oh, nice beam. I don't want to break it. He oh, beams. Uh, it probably would have broke to the sack anyways. I did auto shot it there, but it would have been nice to, like let him sit that and like not do any damage to the warrior. But it's whatever. We're we're straight vibing. They both have no trinkets. This guy's on four barons. Thought he was gonna leap bolt me there, but he didn't bolt right away. So I just faint camo. I cannot get bolted right now because I have no trinket and no turtle. Insane. Time win, this win, trap win. off the clone. Absolute Kobe for the boys. Big damn. GG. Oh my god. What a fucking Kobe. What a Kobe. Somebody clip that, bro. We always try to send those. Success rate. Questionable. <laughs> Alpha clones. <clears throat> Here we got a uh, Fury War Ardruin. I'm playing with a Dispreece this time. W. So a lot of good warriors will just run at you mounted and try to not use any mobility at first. So I'm playing consecutive concussion since I don't I have a dispriest no stun, right? So I'm like playing my own stun. He's forced to use the leap here. I scatter it. Thought he was gonna leap bolt me, but he opted not to. It's really important to like use your scatter, your disengage, and your knock all separately. Like you never want to like use them together. Like see how I'm not using disengage or anything right now? I'm trying to just get away. Very nice MC by my priest there to help me get some distance. Warrior actually trinkets it. Shutting down the banner, pretty much. Knock. Use the knock here on the storm bolt. Position myself for a nice grip for my healer. Healer actually trinketed a clone there. He intervene here, so I can't actually disengage. But he has no mobility right now. So, I just so he used the intervene to get his healer, so I didn't disengage. But he's like kind of trying to sidestep me. But then that's where Kieran is dope. We just drop the wall hacks. Hit the druid a little bit too for split pressure since he barked the warrior. We got barks from the druid there. He really can't move. Where he uses a leap and a charge here, we disengage, so we get a, a nice two for one uh, mobility trade there, a little net positive. Trap the Drew because the Drew's trying to give him a Veen. He gets the Veen. We're eyeing the Storm Bolt. Nice. Now the warrior has no mobility, no leap, no charge, no Storm Bolt. Now he's on the island. So now we can play the game. We're just cranking. One aim. Nice little fear on the Druid here. Warrior gives up on going me after that scatter bolt. Realizes he can't get to me. Trying to get a steady shot on him, but got around the corner. Thought the guy was going to bash me, so I dropped the trap on my feet there. But then he goes back to this guy to maim. Trade the scatter for the bolt. Even though it's a DR bolt, still just good to script trade that as much as you can. So much split pressure with my true shot there that we forced an NS. I silence off and proc the druid. And then I destroy the warrior here. Big fucking damn. He, oh, I should have went healer there, actually. I forgot about We're regen. just cleaving them both right now. We got the warrior's regen. One aim on the druid. So much split pressure, they just they just can't even handle it. Big damn. Nice, we got a warrior and a big map. Should be big vibes. h -Pal warrior on a nice big map here. Playing MM Feral. This guy leaps in. We should get a rake stun. I think the leap it's broke him out, though. So I didn't scatter this bolt. I was expecting a stun, but he blaze storms now. So we need, kind of need to hold our scatter, but... Yeah, scatter now, I hope you under... Okay, maims. Nice, he gets the maim. We get feared, though, on it. It's like a really weird opener. It's like not what we want. Off script scatter, just because I need some space. I Thought about sending a Kobe trap, but we Freedom. opted like, against so. it. We use the vortex there. He has no leap. He has a charge, though. I have a disengage for it. Charging this. A true shot here. Knock this leap now. Disengage the charge. Ooh, I charged a little early, so he actually charged my disengage. I missed my trap here too. It's a very sketchy start, but this is an important game to see how you can uh, like recover and get back to a good script. Like right now, everything is pretty off script. Like we kind of fucked up our disengage and our scatter. I'll show this guy, I guess. But now we just need to focus on denying the uptime and get back to good script. So he has bolt in ten. Trying to run through the old trap, but he actually popped reflect, so it was like really awkward. I knocked that warbreaker. He has a leap. I have no mobility. Like I could pet free him there on the leap, but I was waiting for my feral to stun. I knew he was gonna trinket, so I was holding my scatter. He actually trinketed the stun to, to bolt me, and then got scattered. So script trades a little back there now. He charges me here, disengages, so now we got some distance. We're back to looking good. Got a nice double root turreting here. One more aim. Now we're looking a little better. Now we're looking like we got some nice space to work with. He has a leap soon. He has a leap and a bolt very soon. Here's his leap. I scatter. He was going to banner and then bolt. I kill this. There's a very good clone by my pharaoh here to help heal me. A little swarm on me to keep my health up. I trapped the healer here so he doesn't get freedom or anything. 
Got one aim shot off the clone with that distance. Got a nice oh, maim here. A little double tap. Okay, okay, nice nice clone, clone on the healer. Uh, I silenced in case he didn't get it anyways. No this guy has no leap now, so there's just nothing he can do. Oh, Pally needed to bubble bop him. That's probably the only way. Hey, you did some nice shit that game, bro. Good stuff. They're still, like, so by now, you guys yeah, pretty much understand it's scatter bolt, disengage, charge, and freedom to leap. So there's actually a thing that warriors can do if uh, if they play the leaper legendary, they actually just get like an absurd amount of leaps, so they have a lot of mobility. And this is a game where this guy actually was playing leaper, but this is where having like a feral druid or like a druid um, or having like good high value prescripts can help make up for that extra extra mobility closer. So we'll see what happens in this game. This guy is playing leaper. So my feral opens with a rake berserk. The priest actually grips him. This guy's literally still mounted. I silence the healer and then we just send some aims. But he, I see him ranging it, so we actually focus aim shot the healer. Got the pain sub. So we forced the pain sub. Now the warrior's about to play the game. He charges me with wreck. I'm trying to hold my scatter to see if he's double charge or bolt or what. what is he. I just get some distance there with Cheetah. Here's his leap. I scattered the leap. Thought he was going to leap bolt me. I root him back there. He actually trinketed that into a full maim, and now he's rooted. I kick the healer too, so no dispel. We got some nice distance here. Here's another leap. I slowed it though. He actually didn't connect to me with that leap still. Because of just how far we're playing. Here's a charge now. We disengage the charge. Just trying to stay away from this guy. Trap this guy on the double fear. He uses another leap to get to us here. But now he just turns my feral. I think he gets like a going me. So he spears my feral. My feral trades the trades the wall. We got dome and regen there. I have a double tap soon. Dome's about to end. We have Sundier at 9 oh, though. I was trying to intervene the healer and just send it, but he actually, or I was trying to silence the healer and send it, but he actually intervened the healer. So he actually intervened the silence. I root him here. We got a nice clone into a stun on the warrior. I trap healer off. They both have no trinkets. Could just be game. I'm disarmed. Nice. Good finish. Easy kites. Even though this guy was playing Leaper, he still had a very hard time getting up time. Only 100k damage done this game. Big damn. Here's just a little funny clip where I was doing some viewer twos with another MM Hunter is playing double MM into this warrior. He just uses the leap charge, banner, first globe. Throws a bolt. We scatter it. We're playing the immune trinket, so we immune did too. My other hunter breaks the scatter. We just feign camo so this guy gives up on me and can't pin me. We have double tap up though. We're, like, we're trying to do the go. So we just do this go from stealth. The warrior's like not even aware of it and it's just game over. Big fucking damn. And that's just how you do it. I think the most important thing to learn from this game is like, as an MM hunter, you should always like try to get distance before you do your go versus like just running in and pressing every button and like trying to kill something in the opener. What you want, bro? What you want, bro? Not me. I know damn well it ain't me. Just get your space nice. so you can work with some distance and then capitalize after that. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot. If you want to join my stream community, there's a link in the description for the Discord to stay updated and see what's up with the boys. Uh, I'm always looking for more chill people and uh, some good song recommendations if you have them. Um, but that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.